Hello again, it's Neil Dugan here from Conscious of Health and uh, we're continuing our, our series of videos on geopathic and environmental stress and today we're going to talk about the matter of emotional uh, stress which has actually come from some type of repeated activity uh, which has had a high emotional charge associated with it or indeed there's been some traumatic activity so there's been an event which has been traumatic and the memory of it emotionally uh, and energetically has become stored either in a piece of furniture or in a piece of jewellery, some clothing or indeed in a place within the home. Gen generally speaking people have, um, you know, end up at the clinic here um, dealing with um, stress related to things at home but it can be other places that you go, work or um, social groups or that type of thing. There can be places that become um, very stored with this type of energy now, I'll tell you a little story to begin with, how I decided to actually start off um, putting this geopathic stress series together was that I was working with a young child, a four-year-old, who was suffering from um, an, an environmental um, stress factor which was related to some events that had occurred in the bedroom of the house where uh, the child was, was living and sleeping. So where, where the child's bed, in fact, was, there were memories and, and energies associated going back decades. So these are memories that were happening to you know, children that had been in the house. Um, in one case it was about 20 odd years ago, in the other case it was about 70 years ago. So it was an older house that we're talking about obviously. And these emotions have become stored in the house. And this child, who's a four year old, um, was suffering from terrible nightmares and um, that type of um, effect just couldn't be consoled to actually sleep in that bed, had to go and sleep in another part of the house, whether it be in the living room on the couch, or obviously preferably as you know, all children prefer, you know, go and sleep in mum and dad's bed. But the key factor was that anywhere else in the house, the child could actually fall asleep quite happily and not have these nightmares. So these are vivid, distressing nightmares that this child was actually suffering from. Um, we carried out an, a, um, a the, you know the process around the dowsing and so on. I went in and doused the place, and and um, in my conversations, and we we carried out a treatment actually on the um, the space where this child's bed was as well, and instantaneously the child was able to sleep happily, uh, go to sleep happily in that bed, and um, not suffer from any nightmares ever since. So, in one case of one session, we were able to actually resolve that. And I was so moved by the, um, the experience of that child that I decided that I would actually put this uh, video series together so that people all around the world would be able to um, learn these techniques and actually identify these times of stress, work out what it is that's actually making them unwell. And these are emotional events. So it came up in the sessions that the particular emotional events involved abuse of children actually in this, um, in this bedroom and um, as I say there was an event um, around 20 odd years ago and there was another event that was about 70 years before that, uh, before now. So you know the, these are, it, it's quite remarkable how persistent these memories actually are and the impact that they have on them. So those are traumatic events, obviously abuse of a child and that type of thing is extremely traumatic. And in the case of one of these children, these poor children, uh, the events, um, the traumatic events went on year, for years and years and years and years and these emotions and memories and so on uh, were actually stored up in this little area of the bedroom. The, um, the other type of situation where you get um, a lot of this sort of stored up emotional um, information within a, within a home in particular is where somebody's grown old and become very ill. So in other words, generally where they are at the end of their lives and they're going through tremendous suffering. And that suffering can actually be embedded within within the room just in the area where the person was sitting and so this could be um, you know a favorite chair that the person sat in um, in the, the sitting room or indeed it could be you know the bed where they were um, you know trying to sleep and struggling and managing to only just sort of get by so they that type of long ongoing type of um, distress and, and suffering can also imprint on these on these parts of a building and a house in particular the other one which might not be quite so obvious but once I start talking about it it will make sense to you is um, things like repeated activities where there has been an emotional charge associated with it. So um, another case in point we had a client come in um, where they just felt really really unwell when they were standing at the kitchen sink and 
this particular person didn't particularly mind doing the dishes or you know peeling the potatoes or whatever it was just a normal part of everyday life and there was no real charge there but when we carried out the sessions we found out that there had been a lot of negativity associated with being tied to the kitchen sink if you like um, in years gone by so these are memories and events and that type of thing that were occurring years and years and years before uh, my clients actually came to live in the place and um, you know they were sensitive enough to actually pick that up and obviously in the energy medicine sessions that we were doing we were able to pick that up and we were able to do a, um, a balancing to neutralize these effects actually that were occurring just in the area where the kitchen sink was. Um, so you've got repeated activities with an emotional charge associated with them, um, you've got um, long-term suffering uh, which can have a huge effect. You can have individual trauma, so it can just be one violent event, or you can have a combination of them. So all of those things can be uh, a combination, obviously. So this emotional stress, or and, and I didn't actually mention earlier, but the belief systems that go with them. So for example, um, you know, these poor children that were being abused in this bedroom of this, of this client, you know, the, my current client, the, um, you know, where where his bed is, um, there had been all this abuse going on there. The, um, that that long-term suffering actually meant that there were a whole lot of belief systems in there as well. So not only was there the emotions and the, mem the memories of these terrible events that were happening to these poor little children, but in addition to that, there was actually a whole lot of belief. So these two um, children who had had these traumatic um, events occurring there um, had developed this belief that the world was a dangerous place. And so my client was actually picking up on this belief. That, so the actual belief that the world is a dangerous place and not even in my bed am I safe, that belief that the world is a dangerous place was actually still there, stuck, stored in that area of the room. And my client, the little four-year-old, was actually picking up on that belief system as well. So it's not only the, the actual memories, it's not only the emotions, but it's also all the belief systems that go with it. And these are all the areas that we then actually start working with our clients on to neutralize and balance and get some harmony around. Dis disassociate the, the memories and the beliefs and that sort of thing from the person's body and mind system so that they can then actually go about their healing. So I hope that's helpful and I'm very passionate about this. This is an area where uh, there can be huge improvements in people's lives as a result of actually the work that we're doing. So thanks for watching and uh, look out for our next videos. Thank you very much. Hello again, it's uh, Neil Dugan here again. If you've enjoyed watching this short video and you'd like to get more information about this, I have made 20 videos of the most frequently asked questions that people have about the subject of geopathic stress, environmental stress, how it impacts on you as an individual and how your health and your well-being of your family is being affected by this type of stress in your environment. If you would like the information, we have these 20 videos, I'm happy to email them to you. All you need to do is complete the form. You don't need to be concerned at all about completing the form. We will not use your information for any other purpose other than to communicate with you about this valuable information. So please complete the form and we'll get these videos across to you and look forward to um, catching up with you on all this, all this wonderful information. Thank you very much.